Welcome to online viewers. My name is Reverend Benson Kamali, O1, serving in the principal chaplain's office as the admin guard officer for the military peace Corps. I take this earliest opportunity to thank God for the opportunity that he has given me through our principal chaplain who has found, who has allowed me to use this platform to share the word of God with the rest of us. Above all, I thank God for accepting, calling, and making me worthy of his service in his divine kingdom. Uh, we will look at Psalm 130, and that will be our reflective portion of scripture this morning. And I will also add the gospel reading just by passing. Psalm 130. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. O oh Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to my cry for mercy. If you, O oh Lord, kept a record of sins, O oh Lord, who could stand? But with you there is forgiveness, therefore you are feared. I wait for the Lord, my soul waits, and his, and his word I put my hope. My soul waits for the Lord more than watchmen wait for the morning. More than watchmen wait for the morning. O Israel, put your hope in the Lord, for with the Lord is unfailing love, and with him is full redemption. He himself will redeem Israel from all their sin. Let us pray. Mighty God, we thank you this morning. So you share your word, inspire it, and bless us through it. For this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. I'll talk about waiting. Waiting. My emphasis from Psalm 130 will be verse 5 and 6. I reread it again. Verse 5. I wait for the Lord. My soul waits, and in his word I put my hope. My soul waits for the Lord more than watchmen wait for the morning. More than watchmen wait for the morning. Waiting is never easy, at, and never will it be. I've looked at bridegroom and bride when they come together, they want to tie the knot. There's a period of waiting before the actual day. Expectant moms wait for the day they will deliver and hold their babies. Students wait for the time they will do their exams and probably graduate. In this time I know I'm also addressing KCP and KCSE candidates who have been waiting so that they may sit for their final exams this year. But they have to wait longer again according to the directives given. And as we wait, we might be tempted to give up. But I want to say, as we wait, we should never give up. Put our hopes in God. We need to put our hopes in God. Interns will wait for the end of the attachment in various institutions and probably for possible employment. Farmers wait for the time they will harvest. Employees wait for the time the month will end and they are paid their salaries. Others will wait to be promoted. Patients wait for the time they will recover from their ailments. And those that are admitted in hospitals to be discharged from their hospitals. Prisoners of all nature wait for the time they will be released to enjoy their freedom. The entire globe today is waiting for breaking news. When we will wake up and hear there is no more corona. I'm personally waiting to hear a time when this will be announced that there is no more corona. Because other pandemics were here with us and they are no longer there. The entire globe also is waiting to hear that HIV and AIDS and cancer, we now have curative vaccine, which is now available and affordable for all. We are all waiting for good news. And as we wait, waiting will require us to put our confidence and our hope in God. 
As we watch and wait, the prevailing problems may seem ceaseless, but our perspective will improve based on the word of God. He says also in Matthew 28 verse 20, I am with you always to the very end of the age. The psalmist was in deep distress and he had to wait for the Lord. And he did this putting his hope in God's word. Whenever we put our trust and our hope in the word of God, waiting will become easier. The psalmist chose to trust God amidst his troubles while being alert like a watchman, waiting and watching, looking above. I love this song that was composed by a lady by the name Fanny Crosby. When she turned blind at age six, she composed this aim, Blessed Assurance. And when you look at some of the words in this aim, you'll be tempted to think that she was not blind, but she really was blind. Go and go and you'll know that she became blind at some certain age. One of, one of the stanza has these words, watching and waiting, looking above, filled with this goodness, lost in his love. Imagine someone who has no eyes, but can watch and wait and look above. That means, as we wait, we must wait watching, looking above with the eyes of faith. Jesus Christ, on the parable of the weeds, which is actually a gospel reading, today being the sixth Sunday after Trinity, Matthew 13, verse 24 to 30, Jesus warns that his followers should never sleep while serving him, because when they sleep, the enemy will sow weeds or tears amidst the wheat. Nonetheless, Jesus again allows both the wheat and the wheat to grow together until the harvest time. Let us occupy until he returns. Because of the assurance of the word of God, we can hopefully endure whatever suffering, suddenly knowing that God will break through our dark moments and shine his face before us. Since faith is a substance of things hoped for, we don't have to see the ray of light to believe that God is doing something new every day. Blessed are those who believe without seeing Jesus do Nicodemus. Let us keep waiting for total breakthrough against human suffering posed by coronavirus. But more so, let us wait for the blessed return of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. To him alone be all the glory and honor and adoration forever and heaven. I want us to share together in this aim, blessed assurance. And I'm tempted to ask that we only sing stanza three. Perfect submission. Perfect submission. Oh. Almighty God, help us to watch and pray 
trusting in your unveiling love, in your unveiling provisions, in your unveiling protections against all that come against human. May our faith in you, Lord, and in you alone remain the anchor of our hearts in these turbulent times. Grant that we may constantly remain in your presence for our safety in you alone. This we pray in the name of God who reveals himself to us as Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and keep you. Amen.